Connie, what is it about this team against the Suns? Do you match up as well as you do with other teams? No, I don't think we match up as well as we do with other teams. I, I think what it is is that you have such great players like Chamberlain and Weston Bell that you're playing against, and you want to beat them so bad. I mean, you, sometimes you probably play over your head, but just being out there against guys like that, you, you, you just your, your adrenaline flow, and you want to you just want to beat guys like this. And I think every time you play against guys like that, you, you, you try and go all out and play the best you can. Elgin, besides the difference in score, what was the major difference in tonight's game and the game played in New York? Well, uh, Tom, I think the fact that uh, uh, we were more conscious of, of the press tonight. Uh, we looked at the film before the ball game, and uh, we saw where we weren't hitting the open man. The guy wouldn't shoot in the gap uh, to get open, to get the ball. They were very effective with it the other night, and they used it the entire second half. Uh, they tried it again tonight, and I think that uh, they saw it wasn't working. Actually, we got a lot of easy open shots, you know, to the corner man and to Will. And uh, I thought that made a difference in the ball game. One of the difference in the fact that uh, Will was going to the basket with more authority tonight. To get the ball in a lot easier, a lot better than we did the other night and just made all the difference in the world in the ball games, particularly offense. How about their team play? Well, Baylor and West have been 1-2 on the team in assists every year that they've been together. They're both smooth passers. These great stars working together is the key to the way they terrorize the rest of the league. These are complete basketball players. Will, of course, uses his height and his weight of about 292 pounds to great advantage. He can hurt you with assists like that also, playing the post. Elgin Baylor, superstar, is now the third all-time scorer in the NBA, but he will pass second-place Bob Pettis sometime during the 69 season. Now, whether these fellas are hitting on outside jumpers or making spectacular drive shots, they're virtually unstoppable. The Lakers like to run with Chamberlain's rebounding. They should have ample opportunity to do just that. Elgin Baylor with one of his patented moves. Elgin Baylor, one of his famous hang shots. Elgin, was the team embarrassed by losing to New York in such a way you did? Well, naturally, we were disgusted and embarrassed. I mean, because we figured with the type of lineup they had and they had a small team that we should really beat the team. We felt that uh, at the time when we started off the ball game, we were playing so well when Reed was in there that I think everyone felt that we'd win the ball game in a big way. But seemed somehow we lost that pause in the second half. We weren't able to regain it and just seemed as though everything we did was wrong. And uh, tonight, I mean, they made a run at this. Tonight, uh, they got as close as 13 points, but we did call a timeout. And we regained that pause, I think. And uh, we, the coach talked it over. You know, we remembered the other night what had happened. And we were determined not to let it happen again tonight. One-on-one -on -one situations created for the players. And most of the great stars, like West, Baylor, Chamberlain, if they can get you one-on-one, -on -one, look out. Well, tell me what we did tonight. Uh, we played much better defense the first quarter. They didn't get a lot of easy shots. Uh, I really felt that that really that that decided the ball game. Uh, we let a, we did a lot of good things uh, offensively and defensively. And of course, when Wilt turns into the basket like that, it makes all the difference in the world. Bumps into that big giant man. That's like running into a solid door. Jerry West, he's got a variety of shots and he uses them well. Jerry West. Some of the quickest hands in the history of the game, stealing that ball beautifully. Well, Tommy, no one likes to look badly. Uh, and again, uh, I think the game we played in New York Monday night, uh, I think everyone was embarrassed by it. Uh, uh, we were ready to play basketball, and I think we would have won that basketball game regardless of who, who had played. Uh, our team, uh, we were just ready to play. I knew I had to be cautious because Jerry West is one of the toughest ball players I've played against. I, I want to say that Jerry West was... Absolutely fantastic. That was one of the greatest exhibitions I ever saw in my life. Uh, I, I can only speak for Red because I had to play him all through the series. And Jack, I tell you, I had to say a little prayer every time he got the ball. Outside shooting like Jerry West will be an important part. He can also drive and he can pass. West through two men on into the hoop. NBA basketball. Unbelievable spectator sport. See as many games this coming season as you possibly can at the fabulous forum.
Western Division series between Atlanta and Los Angeles resumes tonight with the Lakers leading one game to nothing. Los Angeles came from behind Sunday afternoon to defeat the Hawks, and yesterday in a bitter Atlanta coach, Richie Guerin, criticized the refereeing in that game. Will Chamberlain's halftime interview with Jack Twyman. Jack said, what kind of adjustments are you going to make the second half? And he said, we're going to give the ball to West and let him go to the foul line. Sort of sums up what West did to us in the second half. Also, there was about three or four occasions yesterday during the first half and second half where Wolf Chamberlain definitely cursed out one of the officials uh, numerous times and nothing was done about it. Myself and Bill Bridges received technicals for just arguing a point. I guess you have to be seven feet two in order to get, with, get away with cursing out officials. I talked to my fellows before and after watching the game again, it's even more obvious in my mind exactly what I felt yesterday. I didn't care to make any remarks about it until I thought about it more, looked at the film more. But if that's the way the officials are going to call the game from now on, I guarantee you right now that Elgin Baylor and Jerry West won't be around tomorrow night at the end of the game to shoot 18 or 21 fouls. If we're going to get called for little bitty fouls, there'll be a lot of blood spilt in that floor tomorrow night. You've got my word on that and my players' words. We're professionals. We try to play the game of basketball like it should be played. If they want to fight and they want to wrestle, that's fine with us too. Will Chamberlain, what part did Pride play in your performance tonight and the team's performance? You know, I learned something from Will Chamberlain. I attended, was invited to attend a press conference when Will Chamberlain came with the Lakers. And one of the uh, gentlemen from the press said, Will, do you think that Coach Van Bredekoff can handle you? I understand that coaches have said you're difficult to handle. Will said, no one handles me. I am not a thing. I am a person. You handle things. You work with people. I think I can work with anyone. The Chamberlain now is a Los Angeles Laker. At the end of the game, he was presented by Captain Elgin Baylor with the Maury Pavlov Most Valuable Player Trophy. Selected by the players that Chamberlain competed against for the third consecutive year. Baylor and the rest of the Lakers glad to have the big guy on their side. Will Chamberlain driving on Russell, and you may see a lot of that now. And that's what I said. The Lakers now uh, will be going to Will Chamberlain, and uh, will, be, will be trying to foul Bill out. Chamberlain is the greatest scoring machine the game has ever known. And he can score on you in dozens of ways. I thought, uh, seriously, after that first game, uh, I didn't think we had much of a chance because Chamberlain played great. And I thought uh, that Wilt wouldn't play that good. I've got to hand it to the big guy. He, he fought and got himself in shape, and uh, he played like he wanted to win. And I said, if he's playing great, there's no stopping him as long as Baylor and West are healthy. Chamberlain, one of the best in the game at handing off to the cutters. And that's what the Lakers will be looking for. With Wilt Chamberlain in the key, Los Angeles should be one of the real powerhouses of the NBA. Well, I, uh, I'm definitely very, very happy uh, and uh, gratified that I was able to do something to help us uh, uh, get as far as we've gotten. And uh, that's, you know, that's all I can possibly ask of, of myself. Well, good luck in New York. Thank you. Rookie coach Joe Mullaney got the Lakers into the playoffs despite a series of injuries. We have guys that are not completely healthy on our team. Elgin is playing under very adverse conditions right now. And, uh, and we all, you know, are trying to do, do our part. So I definitely feel that uh, uh, if people can get a chance to see a great basketball game, and this is what these, these two teams are both doing, that they should be, you know, really a lot more satisfied with that than anything else. Seventeen seconds to go. Ball number twenty. Personal fourteen foul. Will Chamberlain shooting one plus the penalty.
NBA basketball. Unbelievable spectator sport. See as many games this coming season as you possibly can at the fabulous forum.